Welcome to Let's Fly VFR. Today we're going to do something a little bit new. We're going to have a look at some technology that's been around for a while called Face Track and No IR. This is a great little utility. And if you like what you see today, always remember to subscribe and like, please. That would be really great. So, it's not VR, but it's really great anyway. Face Track No IR. Now, I played around with this some time ago with the, uh, the older version, the 1.72 or something it was. And uh, since then it got a whole lot of upgrades. Um, the gentleman who has created also had a little bit of bad luck as well. And uh, so now with version 2 there is a small cost. It's massive at about, um, I think it was $4 Oz. So this is it in operation. You can see my ugly face there on the screen. And you can see the webcam that I'm using tracking my face. So as I look right and left the view moves around so it makes it a lot more realistic so let's go for a fly and see what this is all about so you can see quite easy quite smooth does take a little bit of setting up you have to be patient to get it right and it is a little bit light sensitive because it needs to be able to see your face well but it is well it gives you six degrees of movement actually guys now as I started out I had this just set with your right and left so I can just look around and as we go along I'm going to do a little bit of adjusting to it because you can actually move left and right up and down forward and back and your left and right so it's very very good and you can use it for anything um, you can use it to control in a first person shooter you can just duck around the wall stick your head out see if you don't get it shot off or in uh, flight sims like um, X-Plane 11, P3D, DCS, it works fine. I've got it working in DCS at the moment. I've got it working here in X-Plane 11 and uh, it's pretty good. I've even used uh, the older version in, um, in some F1 racing games, which really makes it good. So you can see how smooth it is and I'm not running the normal 4K that I've got. I've only got uh, 1080p today. I forgot to turn it back up because the um, the UIs don't always scale with some of these things. So here it is, Face Track No IR. So there's two pages you can go to. Uh, this is the main one. Uh, but here you can download the, there's some add-on pack that you need to go along with the core program. Maybe that time I put my gear up. And uh, so you need to download both pieces. And uh, this is the, the main pack that you can download. So this is where you get the really the add-ons. You do need a little a driver for um, piece for uh, DCS, which you can get from there in the 30 to a 64 bit. But um, once you just take some time to get it set, I'll show you my settings and give you a bit of an idea of where I'm at. Uh, if you're uh, just a little patient, we'll get there. As so I'm having a bit of fun flying the uh, the glorious Baron around. Still got a bit of flap there, I noticed. I probably should have got that up by now. But I wasn't too interested in the actual flying. I just wanted to give you the experience that you get from this. Um, there's a lot of other things you can get, guys. Because you can you can go out and buy the full um, track IR. Now, that's about $150, uh, which is quite expensive, really. But it is very, very good. So take that into account. But if that's not within your budget and you would like to have something to uh, look around like I'm doing here, I'm looking left and right. And you can zoom into the instruments and everything as well, guys, once you get it set up properly. So you can see there, see it all working and tracking my face as I was flying along. So you can look into the corners, which is a lot more realistic and uh, it's better than using a mouse or some you know preset buttons, I've got to tell you. I really think this is great. I lost it because I had a lot of trouble with my Samsung 850, I think it is, SSD. It would crashed for me. It had a big hardware issue that required a, um, a software update. Um, and now it's got that. It's working wonderfully. But uh, yeah, I ended up losing my old version of this, which was free. I say back then, the 1.7. But uh, yeah, if look, if you really like what you're seeing, Go download it, uh, make the donation and help the guy out because he's had some bad times. He's had a run on cancer and been lucky enough to survive. So 
help at a fellow simmer and someone who has had the passion to build this up. Now there's a couple of other things that uh, I, I want to look at for myself but they're probably not good for videos. There is uh, another program I've discovered for doing uh, 3D. So if you want the head tracking and again all you need with this version is a, uh, is a webcam and a lot of you guys who fly in your uh, uh, laptops with your laptops will have one already built in and if you haven't got one for home they are pretty inexpensive to get hold of so here we are again having a little bit of look now these are the curves the two curves that were on the left there are my yours and you can see that they've been working okay for a while and you can see the little little box turning as I move my face around but now I've just adjusted it so I've got some vertical and then that little panel that flashed up there was the uh, control so you can I use control alt and Z just to center it so you can do that you can also turn it on and off so you can see you can adjust it you just drag it around and it will be very individual you know just because I do it and it works for my situation um, if I gave you a profile and you did it it may not work for yours and between um, DCS uh, Falcon BMS and uh, an X-Plane 11 I have three different profiles and I'm going to fine-tune them for each situation so that they work each equally well uh, it can be a bit of a problem looking around behind you especially in DCS and uh, so there's a few different filters and things you can play with it's just a little bit of patience you can see I'm just sitting up in the seat a little and you can see the uh, the cowling of the engine popping into view which is it's just really really good and it, it was very smooth when I was doing this fly around so if you're looking for a 3D answer um, there is a program now I might do a video on it or I may not but uh, I got it from the forums because originally NVIDIA had 3D available as we do an aileron roll or barrel roll um, and I gotta tell you it is truly amazing and you can get the red blue uh, and a graphic I think it's called glasses off the internet for like five bucks and uh, this will be a little cheeky I'll, I just wanted to see if I could fly underneath the uh, the power lines here so let's see if I make that okay but you can buy them and then with the older version of the GeForce drivers I think it's there is a number if you look in the on the uh, website for Nvidia they'll actually tell you there in the forums um, but if you're interested let me know I'll have a look for you again um, and that will give you 3D vision just like VR or very similar to VR let's say very similar to VR but you can do it on a, on a screen whether it be a um, TV or monitor or whether it be a, um, a laptop screen so let's see if we can scoot under here hey, got through there it's pretty good um, so and yeah it's really really good in Falcon BMS if any of you guys have played it the um, the center panel the control panel where you can change your air to air and air to ground your radio modes and everything sticks out about six inches out of the screen when you have it on so you combine that along with um, some decent tracking uh, and you have a really really amazing experience to look forward to so uh, again it's just for AMD uh, sorry for Nvidia if you have an Nvidia video card and you can download it if you want to stay with the older drivers you can find which one they stop supporting it and you can do it but with the uh, the 3d you can't do it with the original drivers in X-Plane because X-Plane's OpenGL uh, you can do it with anything that is DirectX but there is an answer for that as well and I've just downloaded that program so I've yet to find out how well that works but again I found it in the um, the forums as we come in to have a land and that might be uh, something I'll be talking Caution. to you about again in the very near future so I hope you like that little view and uh, the centre line again is starting to be my friend again down this I think is actually a road I think the runway could have actually been to the right but let's not tell anyone hope you enjoyed the flight if you enjoyed what I've done please visit around the rest of the channel have a look at Let's Fly VFR here on YouTube uh, visit letsflyvfr.com uh, have a bit of a read around if you're looking to buy anything or you need anything and you'd like to support the channel that would be a fantastic way to do it a little, a little bit of commission if you happen to buy anything there 
again, subscribe and like, and I'll see you next week back here at Let's Fly VFR. See you soon. Bye-bye.